I'm Kyle Farley with EMPM Guide Service, and I'm here with Jocelyn Lung of Angling Outfitters in Woodstock, Ontario. Hello, here we are today. We are going to teach you guys how to program the Hook Reveal and the Hook 2 Series Fish Fighters from Lorenz. All right, guys, here's a hook reveal or the hook two, two series. The units are a little bit trickier to program than the elite series or the hook one series. So here goes how to program. The factory settings on the hooks and the hook reveals are not very good. So we're gonna try to make, teach you how to make the unit a lot better. First thing we're gonna do is hit the uh, power button. That gives you the toolbar to set up the main unit. So we want to go to edit our overlay because we want to put better information on the screen. So we go down with the cursor button, this being the cursor button. We go across to the edit and then we press the enter or the menu button. So right now we've got a blue square around the speed. We're going to press the menu button. We're going to go to add. We're going to press enter, which is the menu button. We are going to go up to GPS with the cursor button, we're going to press enter with the menu button. We are going to put our compass, our course over ground, which is the bearing that our boat is headed in, right there. We're going to go down and we're going to go to time. We're going to press enter, so we now know what time weight it is. We're going to go down to other, we're going to press enter, and we're going to turn on the voltmeter so we know the condition of our battery or if we have enough power to start up our motor later on in the day. We press the uh, exit button. We're going to move the cursor up to the depth. The depth's highlighted in blue. We press the options button. We go to the move. So we bring the cursor down to move. We press enter or menu and then we move the depth over to the right hand side of the screen. We go up Many of you folks have bad eyes, so we need to make it bigger. So we press the plus button, and that makes the depth larger so you can see it better. We're, we finish moving, so we press the enter button. We go to the speed, we also make it bigger. Hit the plus button. We go down to water temperature. We've highlighted the water temperature. We press the menu button. We go to move, we press enter and then we move the water temperature below the depth. We make it larger by hitting the plus button and then we finish moving by pressing the enter button. Course, we go enter, enter for move and we move it up a little bit uh, and then finish moving. Finish editing, you press the exit button do you want to save all the changes? Yes, I do. I press the enter button. So now I have my speed, my compass heading, my time, my voltmeter, my depth, my water temp. We hit the page button. Right now it's highlighted on chart, so we press the enter button. So this is your map screen. First thing we do is press the menu button. We arrow down to more options with the cursor button. We press enter. Orientation. We put course up. Course up does what a car GPS does, which means when you drive, the map moves, you stay in the middle of the screen. Now, a really good feature, especially when you get lost or if you're driving in the fog, is put the look ahead on. When you enter look ahead, it locks you on the bottom of the screen so that your boat is always at the bottom of the screen. So we now we're going to go to do some map work with Navionics. Many of you folks have the Navionics option with your hook. So we hit the page button, we go up to settings, and we press enter. We go to chart, we go across, and we're going to turn on Navionics. So we go enter, and we turn on Navionics. So Navionics is that option that you got with the fish finder, many of you folks. So we're going to turn on the Navionics right now. We press enter. So now we have the Navionics turned on. We zoom out. And we're going to go to the area that we've loaded the card at. So in this situation, we've loaded the card for Canada on Lake St. Clair. So we zoom out, 
we go to Lake St. Clair with a cursor button and we zoom in. So as we zoom in, we're just going to move the cursor to where we're going to boat. So we're, we're up here in Mitchell's Bay. We zoom in to Lake St. Clair and we have the base Navionics map turned on. So we go up to the Marker Boy XE2 and we zoom in. We have the base Navionics map turned on. We press the menu button. We arrow down to more options with the cursor button. We press enter. We go down to chart options. We press enter. We don't have dynamic tides and current, so we turn it off, but we did download the sonar chart. So we're going to turn it on. So right now we've just turned on the high definition. We're going to zoom in. We're going to zoom in. We're going to zoom in. We now have way better detail for the area that we boat in or fish in. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to safety depth and we're going to set it to six feet of water, which is based on low water datum. Anything is less than six will be blue. So don't hit the blue stuff and you'll be safe. Now, a lot of our customers don't have very good eyes. So there's a great feature called easy view. And when we turn on easy view, which is enter, it puts less contour lines with larger writing. So when we zoom back in, we have a little bit less contour lines, but we have larger numbers and bigger data so you can see it easier. So the easy view is a nice feature that makes it easier for people with lousy eyesight or when you're running at higher speeds. Now, the part about that's difficult on the hook reveals and on the hook twos, the sonar is tricky to get working well. But if you follow these steps, you'll be a lot happier with your unit. First thing we're going to do is tell the unit what we have. We hit the menu button. We go to manual mode. So we go to custom. And that means I can fine tune each parameter and it gives you a lot more parameters to set up your fish finder. So we press enter. We go down to advanced and we press enter with the menu button. We turn up the scroll speed two times, which will give you three times faster. So it's three times quicker on the scroll speed. We press the exit button once. We turn off the top filter. The top filter is the amount of noise that your unit's picking up. And when you turn off the top filter, you're going to get a better reading down low, which is more important to most of our consumers. Press the exit button, press the exit button. Now we go down to more options. Then we press enter. Amplitude scope shows you the real time bar that's showing your jig and the refresh rate is increased. We go down to the palette and we go to color number 13 if you're not colorblind, because on color number 13, which is white with bottom tracking, I can see the hardness of the bottom, this being harder rock. I can see a fish sitting on the bottom and I can see individual rocks. So color number 13 is a really nice palette to tell you the hardness and the composition of the bottom. Now in this situation, I press the exit button. I press the exit button. Always run the high chirp, especially on a hook two. The high chirp is going to give you three times the detail of 200 kilohertz. Right now we're going to show you the 200 kilohertz. This is on a display mode. But in real life fishing, when you're on the high chirp, you're going to get a lot better detail and target separation. Okay. Medium chirp is a wider cone angle with a little bit less detail. Low chirp is definitely well over uh, 800 feet, typically to a thousand feet and greater. So most of our consumers do not need to touch the other two chirps. Okay. Now in this situation, we go down to sensitivity. It's on auto mode, but I'd like to see more detail. So I press enter and I inc I'm still on auto, but I'm going to add 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. As I increase the power, I can start to pick up my jig or start to pick up my cannonball. And this is your responsibility to set up your unit. Now, many of our consumers this time of year are starting to go ice fishing. These units have an excellent zoom feature that most of our customers are not using and it's a very important feature. So we're going to stop the screen to explain how important it is to set up your unit. So we press the cursor button and we've stopped the screen. All hook twos and hook reveals have an incredibly 
good system for zoom in. So we press the plus button. And right now in 30 feet of water, we're covering 14 to 40 feet of water. I press the plus button again. I'm covering 19 to 40. I press the zoom button again, 22 to 40. So I'm gonna see more target separation. I press the menu button and I can increase or decrease the sensitivity based on me wanting to see the detail on the bottom. So the, the important part of what we're trying to learn today is zoom in the bottom if you're jigging or if you're trying to see the fish on the bottom, you have the ability to run two cone angles. So right now we're gonna use high chirp to see the bottom. So we hit the page button and we're going to create a page. So I've taken the cursor button on the page button and we're going to now make a very good screen for you. We press the enter button. First thing we're going to do is go down and across to down scan. We press enter. Then we go across to sonar. We press enter. So we have down scan plus sonar. We're going to save it. Bring your cursor down and across to save. Press enter. So I've now created a new page, which is down scan with sonar. I move the cursor to the right. Now I'm on this screen and I clear cursor. So now I'm looking at the bottom. This is on simulator mode. We're going to turn it back to color number 13. And we're going to zoom back out. So now we have the same view on the right side and the left side. This is fish review down scan, which is an incredibly good system from Lorenz that shows you the weeds and the fish in and around the weeds. And this is a sonar view side by side, so we'll have a better reference on what I'm looking at. Harder bottom, uh, darker bottom, and then as it goes lighter brown, that's going to be a softer bottom, and you can watch the silt level come up. So this is down scan beside sonar. This is telling you there's more fish that's being marked on the, on the sonar screen. Another screen we're going to go to is the split screen. This unit here is a side scan with the down scan, known as the triple shot we're going to create a combination screen. So we press enter, we go to down scan first, enter, then we go to side scan, enter, side scan with down scan. We go down and across to save, we press enter. We hit the page power button and we want a far larger down scan, uh, side scan screen than we want on down side scan. So we press enter and we make a far larger side scan screen and we press enter. On all side scan systems, the down scan portion is this dark spot and the side scan is right or left from the down scan portion of the transducer. So this dark patch that doesn't show you a lot of detail, if you split the screen, you'll see the detail on down scan on that screen. So I hope you guys have learned a little bit on the setup of your unit. The units are very powerful and friendly once you set the units up. I hope you guys have learned a lot on setting up your units properly. If there's any questions or concerns, you're welcome to contact us towards Angling Outfitters in Woodstock, Ontario. You can visit us on Facebook. And I hope you like and subscribe to our YouTube video.